yo what is going on youtube so this is actually going to be my first video on the channel so today as you guys have seen from the title already i'm going to be installing an apexi throttle controller on my 2016 is 350 f sport controller um for those of you guys that don't know this pretty much just reduces the lag and the throttle response so that when you open the box we got instructions This here is the Apexi throttle controller, and you do get your harness as well. Um, this harness is specifically for the IS, RC, and I may be wrong, but it might be for uh, some GSs as well. So, let's see what we have in here. So, sorry guys, it's kind of hard doing this with one hand. Here is your toggle switch. Switch between the modes. I believe there's like nine, nine modes that you can go through. Um, you have your little tape. Here is the actual module itself. And you have this, uh, I believe they call this a bypass wire. Uh, so pretty much if you don't want it activated when you put the card to reverse, uh, you could pretty much wire this up to uh, disable that but we're not using that today so anyways let's get right so to before it. we get into this install i do want to let you guys know that uh you do want to let the car sit for about 15 to 20 minutes um you want to have the key far away from the car so it doesn't pick up any uh electricity through the key fob all right guys so the next thing you want to do is locate your throttle switch your plug it's going to be this one right here right above the uh gas pedal so i did hear a lot of people are saying that this clip is really hard to get off so we're gonna try and do that right now it wasn't too hard honestly it was just trying to figure out where this little clicky thing is uh, but once you find it press down on it pretty firm and it should pop right off okay so when i'm plugging this guys just be very careful um these little prongs in here are very delicate and you don't want to break those or bend those or you're gonna have problems and we don't want that so just be you know take your time pull it out there it goes so just to be safe i'm gonna be putting on this zip tie just to secure this um connection make sure it doesn't come out because um, it doesn't quite clip in there, it kind of just sits in there. So we're gonna be putting the zip tie through this hole. All right guys, zip tie is in. It's pretty secure, it should not go anywhere. And this piece is gonna connect right on top of here, exactly where you took this part out. Okay, so it should look like this when you are all done with it. I'm gonna just zip tie this up here so it doesn't get caught in anything. And then you are going to have this remaining wire that dangles down. So this wire here is gonna be connecting into the box, I believe right here. Yeah, so this wire is gonna come down into the box and this wire on the other end is gonna connect to your actual uh, toggle switch. One more thing guys I did want to tell you is that if you are not going to be using the bypass uh, gray wire, I would advise you to electrical tape this piece right here. You do not want this getting wet or triggered in anything. You don't want it grounding out or it'll just be bad news. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to throw some electrical tape around it and I'll be back when that's all done. And I'm also going to run, run this wire through the... Uh, through the side piece right here and find a location to mount the uh, switch. I was thinking of mounting it right here, it but it look like it's gonna fit flush here. So uh, I might mount it here or maybe somewhere else because uh, yeah, the way my OCD is, I'm not gonna like this poking out. So uh, maybe somewhere in the center console, but uh, we'll see. All right guys, it's all done. I actually went with this spot right here. Just right in the center console, uh, it's pretty convenient, you know, just right there, not too far away from anything. Um, yeah, all right guys, sorry, I totally forgot to film this extra part, but um, pretty much uh, don't start the car yet after everything is plugged in and ready to go. You don't wanna start the car yet. Actually, you wanna put it into accessory mode, click the button twice, 
then your Apexi uh, throttle controller is gonna be blinking, like a whitish blue color. After it is blinking, you want to hold down on the uh, bottom button for about three seconds until you get a blue light blinking. After that, it's gonna go back to its uh, blinking of a whitish color. Um, once you get that blinking, you wanna uh, press the pedal all the way down and hold the top button for about three to four seconds when you see a red light and then you let go after that guys you should be ready to go it should be uh processed after that is done it should be fully calibrated and then you're able to start the car as you guys can see no warning lights no check engine So your red is your high throttle mode. Um, you do have medium throttle, medium low throttle, low throttle, which is eco, another eco. Yeah, this thing has settings for days, man, but you know we're gonna be on that high boost. All right, guys, so right away, uh, my first impression, it does remove the lag in revving the engine. Um, I used to have to step on it, wait, and then it'll go up, but it's pretty instant now. Alright, we're gonna go for the real test. We'll take this thing for a drive. So right off the bat, I can already tell that there is absolutely no lag anymore. Like, that's just barely stepping on it. And even when you put it into sport mode, it gives you even more of a throttle response. Yeah, guys, this thing is amazing. Yeah, even the downshifts are on point. All right, we're gonna full send it right here. See how it reacts. After taking it around the block and uh, hopping on the freeway and doing some pulls, uh, I just want to tell you that it's not that this uh, Apexi throttle controller makes your car faster, it just makes it feel faster because you're getting that initial response from the throttle and it's honestly 10 times, 100 times better I would say and I feel like honestly every new car that has a lag in the throttle needs this, like it is a night and day difference. It's honestly worth every single penny. To conclude today's video, uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. If you guys like the video, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more content on this car. Um, I am going to try to be posting a lot more and be consistent on this channel. But yeah, that's going to be all for today and I'm out.